Hello everyone and welcome to your reading at the Rose Tarricles. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the zodiac cusp of... <coughs> Good God, sorry. Mystery and imagination. <laughs> During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100%, okay? If this is the case, please take a look at your moon rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. <coughs> if you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. And before we start... <coughs> Good God, sorry about that. I would like to thank God, Source, the universe, all the archangels and angels of love and light, all the spirits and spirit guides of love and light, <coughs> for guiding me to share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, darlings. It's a cusp of mystery. Let's get started. Let's get started. Sorry. Good God. <coughs> Right, sorry guys, it's very hot here and I do uh, have an allergy to heat, <laughs> to put it lightly because it activates all my sinuses and the migraines and this and that, the following, yes. So, uh, we're going through at least a week long work of being a bit sick and then recovering. Bear with me, I'll carry on <laughs> your readings as usual, <laughs> despite what is. Mm -hmm. So, you'll just have to excuse my sniffles. I'll lay out your cards first and uh, then we'll do a reading. <clears throat> In the meantime, if uh, you want to, yeah, please go ahead. Not if you want to. <laughs> it's a humble request. Okay. Go ahead and take a look at my website, darlings. Shop till you drop www.angels.store. Okay. It's uh, launched in the stores over here as well. So, I'm very happy about that and uh, uh, thank you for the ones who have uh, purchased from the online store. It's, uh, it's really amazing and uh, I'll be coming up, as I mentioned, with the uh, new offers, so stay tuned. It's going to be only 24 hours for those offers. Yes, will be the end closing of the first season. Yes, you're closing. Anyways, let's start. My wand. Uh, yeah. So coming in the reading, cusp of mystery and imagination, Capricorn Aquarius. What's going on here? <laughs> Mm, release whatever is not serving you, darling. Okay, <laughs> to put it overall, your overall energy is the high priestess. So here we can see you're holding back. Sorry, I had to turn that deck to see what's at the bottom of it because if it starts this way, I was quite curious how what was being shown below. Coming to the reading, I see you're getting some kind of information or there's some kind of communication coming through from somebody who has had a lot of skeletons in their closet. This person put you a lot of sorrow, put you a lot of sadness, depression. Yeah, they took you to the ringer. Why? Because this person is a nymphomaniac. <laughs> He's a player. 
They like to sleep around, they like to collect a lot of uh, karmic debts, they like to collect a lot of diseases and everything else to go along with that, yes? You may have invested a lot in that situation in the past, but now you are giving up on it, you're letting go and you're moving on. Okay, you're exploring your options. You have a lot of options in your dating environment, yes, but I think you may have been stuck mentally and spiritually as well for a reason, yeah, because you had to clear out things in your mind, okay. But I think uh, spiritually you had already kind of made a move on from this person, but in the physical world there were things around you you were trying to kind of make sense of, yeah, things that you had to tie up. You may have given this person a lot of chances before and I don't think you're willing to give them any more chances because you're coming on the other side of healing. You may have had held a lot of hope in the situation in the past but not anymore because now you're coming across as uh, <clears throat> complete, you know, you're whole as a person now. You're not dependent on anyone, you're not the, you know, emotionally dependent on anyone, neither are you being affected by anyone else's actions anymore. You're coming across as very single, all right? So, <clears throat> good. That's good news. Now, this person, they want to come back in your li into your life. Yes, for a reason. They want to come back into your life because you are perhaps uh, doing something that is uh, getting their attention and that is that they feel like they can, you know, make use of. So, they want to use you. Who are you dealing with? Are you dealing with an opportunist, darlings? Yes, are you dealing with an opportunist, a person who is, comes in and out of your life as and when they please, but not anymore, because I think when they try to contact you this time, they will come to the realization that stuff is over, those days are gone. This person anyways, for them it's no biggie, okay? If you're thinking they're going to be hurt and this and that, no, it's no biggie, because they already had a backup over here, yeah? Whilst they were with you, they were chatting with many other people, like they were going around with many other people, okay? And they were already making their backup plans everywhere else, okay? Now, over here you can see, sorry about my accent, <laughs> I've been talking the local language, so <laughs> you might see me going in and out of my languages. It has influence, you know, when you speak another language, it does influence you. Uh, core language, your basic, or like if you're an English speaker and suddenly you start speaking some other languages, it does take over the accent of the other languages, okay? So please, please bear with me. <laughs> and my cold is not helping either. <laughs> right, I have to speak through my nose half the time. Anyways, here we go. Let's see what's this person on your mind thinking about. This person. Uh, this person has no care in the world, like, you know, if this doesn't work, they go to the other one. They're just a jumper, you know what I mean? So they had somebody else over here, obviously in mind, you know, they were preparing that person. So you are dealing with a narcissist, okay? They were already preparing, grooming that person, love bombing that person behind your back, while at the same time they were trying to see if things are going to work out here, because they can get a lot from you. They can't get as much from the other person, but they can gain a lot from you, you see? But this was like a backup, just for like, you know, to play around with, like a puppet. So they got another puppet over there. And they're moving towards that puppet, <laughs> the new victim. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm finding it funny because there's so many people like this. Today, I look at beyond, right? So do they even realize <laughs> what they are doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Very treaty. Anyways, so... This person is at the same time, you know, in conversations or dating or going out or sleeping around with somebody else, okay? This person could be very much older than the other person. So there could be a difference or maybe their age difference uh, could be massive, like 20 years, 15 years or 18 years like this, yeah? 19 years, big difference in their age. So this person is pervert, pedo. <laughs> They can't get somebody, uh, they can only prey on people who are who they think they can mold according to their expectation. So the person you are dealing with is weak, <laughs> weak as F. Anyways, so you don't need that person in your life. You need somebody who is strong, who is independent, who knows themselves, yes, who cannot be swayed by all this 
things around them. So that's the kind of person you need. Because <clears throat> if you're in this energy, darling, and if you're in this energy, mm, you're on the top. You're on the top. You're not on the shelf even. <laughs> You'll be taken. Yes? So let's see. Over here, they are... Um, they know they have done wrong. They know what they have done yeah, to damage uh, the relationship they had with you. Okay, They're very well aware, but they're not going to acknowledge it because they feel as though as soon as they give you acknowledgement, they are a loser. So they always uh, want to win at any cost. So they have made their choice. You, don't, you should not care about it. They made their choice. Let them piss off with their choice. You know? They feel they've uh, kind of uh, saved themselves from being exposed or this and that. But how can they save themselves from being exposed when you already know everything, right? So, <laughs> they feel it's some kind of a victory they've got over there. Now, uh, this person could have made someone pregnant, uh, sorry, she could have got someone pregnant by sleeping around, okay? And now they're not talking to that person either, but they're talking to some other people around, okay? There could have been uh, talks of marriage in between you and this person, but I don't think that's happening. Uh, even though this person, they think they can manipulate their way back to you. Okay, bear, it, bear that in mind. This person thinks they can manipulate their way back to you because they've been successful before. But now, this time, things have changed because you've been through the ringer, right? <laughs> you've been through the last, last round in the washing machine. So, they're going to get a shock of a lifetime okay they feel as though if they can propose to you and give you the uh give you her you know the offer of uh, marriage and you know you'll just bite into the carrot again and you know then they can take you to the cycles again you know stuff like that because what they want from you is something that you've got and it's something to do with money it's something to do with inheritance. It's something to do with what you can offer and only you can offer, which nobody else can. And it's to their benefit, you see. They're not thinking about you. Perhaps when you wanted help, they were never there. <laughs> yeah, but when they wanted help, you were always there. But now you are not. And they're coming into a lot of realizations. Okay. That, uh, oh God, what did I do? Kind of a thing. That's what they're thinking. So perhaps now they need to do something and they find the missing link uh, that is you. You're the only one with the answers, perhaps. Yes, you're the only one with the directions to give them, perhaps. But they don't know how to go ahead on their own. Who is this? Copycat. <laughs> yeah, so you were actually promoting somebody who was a asshole. So you don't need such people in your life, darling. This people knows exactly. Now, for some of you, this person, whoever they got pregnant, yes, or whoever they were banging or whatever you call it, yeah, they're not talking to that person or they're on bad terms, okay, because they do not want that to come to light. Perhaps you already confronted them in the past, yeah, and it will just prove you right, so they want to squash that situation, yes, and they want to come towards you saying, oh, you know, let's start over again and let's forget about the past why did you do anything wrong no did they do everything wrong yes so they want to forget about it yeah and they're asking you to forget why would they forget if you did something wrong of course not they would use every small excuse to you know do what they want on the side yeah so you're leaving it. You can see clearly this person brought only chaos and hostilities into your life. You're going to leave it behind. <clears throat> yeah, we talk about it. <laughs> you're, you're walking away from this. You're not entertaining anything from this relationship of the past. Yeah, I think you have put it in the past and you're defending your ground. You're not listening to any thing anyone has to say you're not entertaining any kind of communication that is coming off this person as we can see here so they're probably trying to send you messages or trying to call you or trying to you know c connect with you in some way or the other you are not interested at all okay you're holding back immensely and you're waiting for your ships to come in in other areas because in fact the moment you pulled back your energy from this whole dynamic yes from this person you were actually very happy. You felt the weight being lifted off your shoulders. 
So this person was, it was a very dark energy. They were sucking the energy off you, darling. Yes? You know what you are and you are what you are and you don't care what anyone else has to say about you because you know you're a loyal, faithful person. Yes? And you think, when you think about this person, you're thinking about who the hell did you, you know, dedicate your time and effort uh, towards, you know, with somebody who was not even worth the soil of your shoe. You know what I mean? So, you're just happy that it's all over and you are moving on. You're dating and you're uh, moving towards, for some of you, you are spreading the word and you know, letting your friends know and your family know that you're now single and you wish to have somebody nice. So, if if anyone comes towards you with recommendation and high recommendation that too, yes, you are going to take a look into it. But about this person in your past, no, you're not interested at all. You're mm, mm, not at all. Okay, it's over here it says, this situation involves marriage. So, perhaps some of you were married, some of you were engaged to get married, some of you were in a long-term committed relationship with this person. But now, you're letting it go. You have closed your heart towards this person and you're op because you have healed your heart from all the hurt and the pain they have caused you, you just look at them as somebody who's run up the bill, you know, who's just one of many one of many faces in the crowd someone you just don't recognize you know so they don't stand out to you anymore they're not really anything special they're just ordinary you know what i mean <clears throat> so of here you are protected so your heart you see has been protected and i think you had to go through a lot and then you made a final decision which kind of released the cords that were holding you back. So this person was energetically feeding off you as well. You know what I mean? So you're protected from every side. Yeah? You're mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally protected from the other realm. Yeah? Uh, from the spirit world. You're protected by your angels, by your archangels, by your ancestors, by the universe, by source. You have all the good protection around you over here. And it's making you feel at peace. Yes, at the moment you are in a very peaceful and harmonious state of mind, darlings. Over here it says, release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. So it's very clear. Okay, it's time for you to move away from this, leave it all behind and go away. Your ancestors are here. Your protection is here. Why? Because it is time for you to choose your independence and your freedom. And some of you who are, you know, in a phase where you are trying to make up your decision, you've not yet reached this part in your life, yeah? You are trying to yet, you know, struggle through the motions and make a decision and stuff. Let go of control. Go with the flow. Leave it all up to God, okay? And God will make way. God will make your path clear for you and one day you wake up and the decision is already made and believe me, you'll be very happy. So over here, you're being asked to explore adjacent possibilities. So it's time for you to go out dating, seeing new people, yeah? People who you can touch, hear, feel. Not over the internet, not over here, not over there, okay? And over here, clearly, you will be doing that very soon. Some of you are already doing that. And you're going to be enjoying your freedom. You're going to be enjoying the different elements of life that you were not able to experience before when you were in this very controlling and very narcissistic relationship with this demonic narcissist. Let's put it that way. All right. And over here, you can see you'll be holding back from anything in your life that has not been serving you. Yes, you have learned a lot. You have ascended beautifully, spiritually speaking. And you've come into some kind of knowledge, okay, uh, of some kind that is guiding you smoothly towards a better part, a path more fulfilling for you, okay, in your future. Some of you are going to uh, gain some kind of good notoriety in your line of work okay whatever it is and it is going to get you 
recognition yes on a massive scale some of you are going to go into the healing business perhaps going into reiki some of you into the spiritual learning like uh, astrology um, tarot cards um, divinations yeah and uh, some of you are just going to be good old humanitarians probably opening organizations that help people yes whatever that is done to help others from the goodness of your heart okay so go ahead and do it darling you are here for a reason and it will be revealed to you after this process after you've been through this process okay yeah clearly you have chosen the soul journey card of happiness it says here i'm aware that being happy means that i am on the right path so whatever you're doing at the moment in your life darlings is making you very happy and this in turn is opening doors for you that you didn't even know existed okay so now over here Archangel Michael says go forward fearlessly so please say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael thank you for walking with me every step of the way for holding my hand giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose there you go this whatever you've been in your life been through in your life so far has actually put you on the part of that was fated and destined for you okay everything happens for a reason darling remember that it's a very powerful statement everything in your life happens for a reason and once at a later date you realize the reason <laughs> oh believe me you will be laughing your head off <laughs> and you will be looking at life very differently darlings now you receive the initial cue the N For some of you this person could have really tried to damage your reputation could have tried to smear your name very badly yeah they could have done a lot of shit against you with people behind your back okay they could literally have sold you out you don't need this person in your life and you never did need them yes it's just that you love them at one point of time but now you're over it s h n h s <laughs> some of you are from the uk the health public health system isn't it the NH National Health Service if I'm not mistaken <laughs> X okay now let's uh, see what zodiac signs you could be dealing with darling Aries Pisces Libra Sagittarius Cancer Gemini so you could be dealing with any of these signs or any of these signs could be prominent in your person's chart. So my darling, cusp of mystery and imagination. It's not a mystery anymore where you're bound to go towards your destined path, darling. Go ahead fearlessly and move towards your happiness, your peace and your harmony. All right, darling. If it resonated with you, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And for my returning subscribers, I thank you so much for being on this journey with me at the Rose Tarot. Until we meet again, darlings, I love you, take care and God bless.